All right, drive shaft showed up. Yeah, I'm just setting up for the shot. So it looks like today we're going to be showing you how to install Adam's drive shafts in the Giveaway Gladiator. All right, so Brienne, why don't you tell everybody what do we have here? Yeah, we have the 1350 Extreme Duty Series Adam's drive shafts. And we went with some big burly drive shafts because why? Because we just installed those Ultimate Dana 60s and those Patagonia 40s. We need something bigger and stronger. So what can you tell me about Adam's drive shafts? Well, according to your notes here, Adam's drive shafts was founded back in 1996 in Henderson, Nevada. But I know that our customers love Adam's drive shafts and we sell a ton of them here at Northridge 4x4. Now you weren't supposed to peek, but yes, we have, we do sell a ton of these. To, uh, they're great pieces. They're big, they're burly, and they look really nice. Adam's drive shafts being one of the top manufacturers of heavy duty drive shafts for the off-road enthusiast. Now, of course, looking at these, first thing I'm going to notice is rear drive shaft. It's now one piece, no longer the factory two piece. Yeah, that's right. We got rid of that center bearing. And of course that center bearing, we had to drop that in the lift video to uh, help balance it out or keep it from vibrating. This one piece rear drive shaft, we do away with that center bearing completely. It's, it's much more simple system. Now I notice we do have a heavy duty yoke and a flange here. These are to go up on the transfer case. We're going to replace the factory CV flanges from the transfer case. Yeah, and Adams makes it so that it's a direct bolt up to that UD60. But of course, if you have that factory axle, you will need to replace those flanges. So now one of the things we really love about Adams drive shafts is how fast they are. If we don't have it here in stock and we need to get something built, we can just get measurements down to them and they will have it built and shipped within a couple days. So I guess we just got to install these in the giveaway gladiator. Yeah, we should probably show them how to measure for the uh, drive shafts first. Good point. Let's show you how to measure for a drive shaft. So in measuring the drive shaft, it depends on whether you have a flange, a CV flange, or a yoke. On this Ultimate Dana 60, we have a yoke. We're going to measure right to this face. Now notice I have it turned at 3 o'clock. Now we're going to go up to the transfer case end. And this still has the factory CV flange on it. And you'll see these protrusions. These are called the lips. So we're going to measure from the lip at the transfer case. So we're going to measure from the lip of the transfer case at 3 o'clock and then come down here and measure right to the face of that yoke which is going to be 62 and 11 sixteenths. Now we're going to want to measure that twice just to make sure that we have the correct measurement. Now if this still had the factory axle in the back we would have that CV flange with the lip. We would also turn one of those lips to 3 o'clock and then we would measure from lip to lip. To install the Adams drive shafts, we need to first remove the yokes on the transfer case and swap them out with the supplied yokes. So this takes a 32 millimeter socket. You may actually have a little bit of oil come out. Okay, on this factory yoke, you'll notice it has this big rubber o-ring and that's to help seal any oil from leaking around the splines at the transfer case. The new yoke doesn't have provisions for that o-ring, so we're just going to use a little silicone. So we're going to use a little silicone on the inside of the splines, just a little coating, and then use a little luber plate or other light oil or grease just to keep this seal lubricated. Line our splines back up and push it in. Then a little dab of red Loctite. and run that nut in. Then we're going to torque this nut to 160 foot-pounds. Same goes for the front. Okay, we take our drive shaft and set it up in against the new flange. And start installing bolts.
All right, then at the back end, lift the unit up and slide the U-joint into place into the yoke. I'm going to take the U-joint straps and the bolts, even though they have Loctite on them, we always throw another dab on it just to make sure. All right, so now we're moving up to the front drive shaft, and of course we've got to replace the CV flange at the front of the transfer case, and it can be really tight to get to. So we've got to reach over the top of the cross member and the exhaust, get in there with our, thir our 32 mil socket, and let's get an airline up in here. It is a bear to get to, but if you want better drive shafts, this is what you got to do. So we've got the new front yoke already prepped. So on the seal surface, we're using Lubriplate 105. And then down inside the splines, we're using some black silicone just to make sure we don't get any oil weeping past the splines. I slide it up. Engage the splines. Throw a little red Loctite up on the threads. And I'll even put a dab down in the nut. And then reach up and run that nut in. Okay, so for the uh, flanging yoke nuts on the transfer case, we do have to get them to 160 foot-pounds of torque, which can be quite tough to do. Now here at Northridge 4x4, we use what's called a torque stick. This particular one will get us up to 140 foot-pounds of torque with a big burly air gun. Then we're gonna use a big burly torque wrench and get that last 20 foot-pounds up to 160 foot-pounds. Now we realize a lot of you don't have the specialty tools, but that's why you, we, uh, I'll remind you to take a look at your local big box auto parts stores because they'll often have some sort of a rent loan lease program on some of those tools that you don't use all that often. All right, and in goes the new Adams drive shaft. Slide it on up. And then you gotta come in from the back side of the yoke and slide the bolts in and start tightening. Make sure you use some red Loctite on the bolt threads. Now for the other end of the drive shaft, get our tag out of there. Now the U-joint the caps are held on by some electrical tape that's just wrapped to keep them in place. So very carefully get in there and just slice that black tape. Be careful not to cut the seals. And then just like the rear, the straps go in place and the little bolts go in. Make sure you've added extra Loctite. So now just go over everything a second time. Make sure you have it all torqued down to spec and it's ready to go. And you're done. You have installed a set of 1350 Extreme Duty Series drive shafts from Adams Drive Shafts. Hit that description box down below for a link to where you can find Adams Drive Shafts to fit your Jeep. And while you're down there, hit that like button. Leave us a comment. What do you think about Adams Drive Shafts? And until next time, thanks Northridge Nation. Your board, all your board, uncheck all your board, board. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hey, there's the head. Ow.